Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover from one of Joe's Tylenol creator, get down and dirty with the Swifties, following the recent backlash he received for some of his past lyrics. And he slammed these fans during a recent live show that sparked some interesting reactions online. Today we also have more that's come from the recurrent drama surrounding Eminem's Curtain Call album. Since as far as we know, it was all good for rock stars and even Tupac when he went diamond with the greatest hits album. But apparently Eminem became the first artist ever to start quote cheating with his Curtain Call album. All because some hip hop fans struggle to understand billboard chart rules and we'll expand on this in a moment. And today we also have more that's come from 50 Cent, who recently startled some hip-hop media journals with his comments during an interview when he brought up Jay-Z and Diddy, and the reactions have been quite hilarious, as 50 literally called them out during the interview. And today we also have an update on Ray J's altercation with Diddy's kids, this time from the primary source involved. And we also have an update on the past drama between Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez, as she came clean about their entanglement in a recent documentary. And before we get started, if you enjoy this content, don't deny us like Megan Thee Stallion denied that Tory Lanez hit. Do us the honors, hit the like button and subscribe for more. And starting with Tyler the Creator, he recently was facing backlash for some of his past lyrics, especially after he dethroned Taylor Swift from the number one spot on Global Spotify for three days. And Tyler recently sent a message to those pushing to cancel him. Check it out. I got Swifties all mad at me with them racist ass. <laughs> Bringing up old lyrics, bitch. Go listen to Tron Cat. I don't give a fuck. Oh, the fuck, bitch. They gonna bring out the old me. And believe it or not, somehow Eminem got tracked into this. As in response to this, it is always the white people trying to cancel someone for old tweets or just because they are black. And in the year 2024, after everything that went down, someone added this. And they will be okay with Eminem though. Say what now? And this is said about the same Eminem who a whole new generation found out about his lyrics and some called for him to be arrested. It is why on the new album he started Antichrist with running away from the PC police chasing him. But somehow Tyler is getting dragged and someone believes Eminem gets a pass because he's white and some have fired back with, mind you, they are on Eminem's neck since 1999, lol. And moving on, we got another case of Eminem getting dragged into some drama. This time, it was his greatest hits album that was put between the debates between Drake and Kendrick when it was reported that Good Kid Mad City was the longest running rap album on Billboard, which is factually incorrect. So of course, Academics TV, that's obviously Team Drake, stepped in with just a quick fact check for those paid to run the Kendrick propaganda. Eminem's album has spent more weeks on Billboard and those in Kendrick's corner fired back with Good Kid Mad City is an original album. Curtain Call is a compilation album with old songs from Eminem's first five albums. Imagine saying fact check when you're the leading page of misinformation on this site. Laughing emoji. Now the explanation was all good but the fact check was actually correct, since this is based on Billboard charts after all, and Billboard reports the Eminem album as the longest running. What people think constitutes an album is irrelevant to the discussion, because the original post stated rap album and not rap studio album, and I even saw some claiming Eminem was cheating with Curtain Call. It is a greatest hits album, it cheats the system, it doesn't count. <laughs> Which got me wondering, because when Tupac's greatest hits went diamond, we never saw people debate about how it doesn't count because it is a greatest hits album. In fact, hip-hop media would report how Eminem and Tupac are the only rappers with multiple diamond albums, so what changed? And mind you, all the Gautier rappers from Eminem's era all released greatest hits albums. So if it is a cheat, why aren't they charting on Billboard right now? And if Current Call didn't exist, the Eminem show and MMLP will keep 
charting because right now based on billboard's rules curtain call is preventing those albums from charting because the biggest hits on those are contained in the curtain call album and this is to prevent double counting but hey billboard the original source is apparently incorrect when they report curtain call as the longest chart in rap album all because people want to debate drake versus kendrick interesting and moving on before we get to 50 cent making media journals uncomfortable we got to hear from ray j about his squabble with diddy's kids during a chat with Nicki minaj check out a snippet what no not a, no we didn't have a fight we had a big argument right outside the club and who's that this time i think i got loud and got aggressive but it was the third time this happened and so i felt like i needed to like stand up for myself even though i was talking shit and we was having a lot of crazy words i was walking that way to avoid the issue you know what i'm saying mm. and so and that's what happened and um it's unfortunate but what's dope is that we all got on the phone we talked for about I 35 minutes you that don't care you don't care about the peace about it at what point? So you saying someone approached you, and this is the third time y'all been having this argument? What was y'all arguing about? Comments that I was making on my show, on my news. Oh, you got show. a show? I'm in. A, I'm on the news now. I'm a news anchor. What? I'm a news anchor. Yep, I'm on the news. No, what the fuck to do with yourself, huh? No, I'm having a good time. You're not. I'm, I am, Nikki. I'm. No. I'm not like. Good is that, is that word you should... I'm having a great time. I'm I'm alive. Amen. You taught me that. And some believe Ray J got dirt on them boys, or perhaps he said something on air that further incriminates Diddy, and they knew it. And moving on, Megan Thee Stallion, who previously told Gil King that she never had entanglements with Tory Lanez. Sexual relationship, that it was, uh, that you two were dating what was the nature we were of not dating we what were really name? close we were friends we hung out like every day and his mom passed too so when i felt like we were bonding over, over that mm-hmm. and did you have an intimate relationship with him like sexual yeah yeah did you have, <laughs> did you megan did you have a sexual relationship <laughs> with tori lanes yes that's my question um i didn't have a sexual relationship with tori recently reviewed she lied Yes, bitch, I lied to Gail King, bitch. First of all, I didn't know that bitch was even gonna ask me about that shit, bitch. I always wanna talk about this shooting. Why'd you ask me about fucking Tory? That's not what this is about. Even if I was, I fucked this nigga like once, maybe twice, on a drunk night. Bitch, you kept catching me out of my fucking mind. Now, contrary to popular opinion, it is not a crime to have entanglements with someone like Tory Lanez. But somehow she chose to lie instead in that interview. And since this was a serious case, this snippet is being used to call her credibility into question. And Tory Lane's defenders wasted no time to pounce. Once a liar, always a liar. Free Tory Lane's until it's backwards forever. But this doesn't change anything in the grand scheme. As far as we know, he remains locked up. And moving on, 50 Cent decided to stir the pot during his Hot 97 interview and some interesting snippets have since gone viral. For instance, this one where he asked about the whereabouts of Jay-Z, especially since the Diddy arrest. Oh, am I? Don't unban me because no one's there to, to get. When's Jay's coming to summer jail? I'm sorry? When's Jay-Z coming When's to summer jail? Jay-Z coming back? It's been a long time. When's Jay-Z coming back anywhere? We waiting for him to come a lot of places. I want him to come on the show. No Jay-Z? brunch, no lunch, no dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot out here, man. It's hot out here. You gonna see so him nowhere. Fifth, real question, real question. And it is fun to see the Jay-Z fans posing as 50 Cent fans claim. As a fan of 50, I gotta say, this dude is such a jealous little bee. God damn. Why is it every time you in interviews, it is to speak ill of other dudes from game to Bach to Jaw to Jay to Diddy to Kendrick. Like, god damn. Don't you get tired of that ish? To which a user fired back with the question is is he lying on those guys since the puff situation started jay has not been seen outside and that's facts bro and another user added he wasn't doing the annual brunches and going to games and i would add that since diddy got busted 50 got vindicated as i also remember people were calling him a diddy hater for years and now here we are and 50 cent was also asked about his issues with diddy and how it started and it was glorious to see the interviewers act oblivious to the point 
that 50 Cent had to call them out on air. Check out a snippet. Well, when you start to get the momentum, he's like, yo, yo, you guys, we gotta hang out. Yo, when we gonna, you know. So you felt like he was trying to dim your light early no, in no. your career. It's, nah, it, it wasn't that. It was really just, he just, I got uncomfortable with him. Like, the way he was asking to try and get me to hang out with him was like, yo, I take you shopping. Like, and I'm like, what you mean? Like, that's something you say to a woman you're attracted to, maybe. Just what I'm saying. So you felt like he was trying to play you like you didn't have your own money, you didn't have your own shit. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It was weird, because I'm not, not only do I not go shopping like that, but I've, he knew Misa was getting my, like, was getting clothes for me. Like, was a stylist for me right, at points. Right. So why are you asking me to go shopping? You're asking me, it's just weird, bro. Like, and now you start to see a lot of the weird stuff that was there. It looks like it all lines up, don't it? It was not in the in the closet. It was in front of you, and you wasn't seeing it because you see the, the, the beards or you see the girls. So you didn't look at them the way it actually is to a degree. And I, when I say people respond, how people respond to things matter. Like the, the internet will take to it and just go off with it. Meek responds being un the uncomfortability. He goes, yo, nah, I gotta I spend 100000 to find out why my name is in this like this. And it's in it only because he's uncomfortable. You don't hear him talking about French? French was right there, right? Why you get so quiet? You guys make me feel like I'm, I'm scared. Well, no, no, I mean, no, there's, there's a lot. lot. There's, there's, there's a lot. No, they see this. You see this. They see this. <laughs> you see this. <laughs> nah, you see this. They want to act like that. Oh, we got nothing to do with that fifth. We could just... No, no. That ain't it. Just look. No, honestly, honestly, yeah. I thought there was, the reason I'm asking is not because of none of that. Yeah. I honestly thought, y'all, you tried to do some business. And yeah, yeah, we, a few times. Her. No, it was a few times he did it. Like, it, was, it almost was, was consistent, like, like you over there. So if it's things with Jimmy Iovine at different points, he was, he hate on the situation. Okay. And I'm like, what, what is? Because he was over there too, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, so he'd be over there and he'd be pushing the wrong narrative for things. And it's like, look, we, we could be competitive at different points and it's supposed to be, right? That's what battling is in hip hop culture, right? But when we get outside of the actual music, why are you still? And some have expanded in response to them acting like they didn't know what 50 was talking about. Why y'all acting slow? Diddy was trying to groom 50, shrugs emoji. And I have to agree with this next question. Is Ebro asking the wrong questions and missing 50's point and purpose? And I'll be looking forward to your thoughts on this question. Things turned weird fast when 50 started talking about Diddy and I even saw Ebro was quick to change the subject when 50 asked questions about Jay-Z's whereabouts since the Diddy arrest. But over to you guys. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.